this section, I've got another unboxing video of the Insta Ghost Rig from the perspective of the Ghost Rig itself. Hello. Previously, I made this video, so if you're interested, check out this one. But for today, this video is mainly at those who are still considering whether to purchase the Ghost Rig but haven't quite made up their minds yet. While there is a noticeable difference in pixel quality, the Ghost Rig more than compensates with its hands-free convenience. As you can see, I've got my hands-free to multitask while filming, thanks to the magnet pendant attachment for the Ghost Rig. So from my personal perspective, if you are interested in the markets for hands-free camera, this is a great option. However, if you are particular about pixels, that's something to consider. The reason I bought the Insta Go 3, despite already owning a camera and an iPhone, is because I wanted something that guarantees complete hands-free operation. It needed to be super tiny. Fortunately, on the very first day of using it, I realized it perfectly met my requirements. I'm personally 100% satisfied with it. Today, I will be showcasing some short vlogs from my daily life to demonstrate its hands-free capabilities. In the upcoming videos, you will see things that occur frequently in my life, except for the climbing parts. As you can see, in a gym room, most of the equipment is made of iron. We can easily attach the Go 3 and choose a certain angle to record while we are exercising. My personal trainer actually offered to help me record while exercising, but I think it would be distracting and draw too much attention. I just want to record what I'm doing without too much stress. So this mini camera is really helpful. Typically, I do 5 to 10 minutes of cardio exercises, followed by one hour of strength training and then another 40 minutes of cardio exercise with 10 minutes to stretch my muscles yeah basically that's my training Bing and I tried indoor climbing for the first time it was a fresh experience for us honestly I'm afraid of heights so whether it's a cable car roller coaster or pirate ship I tend to avoid them I was delighted that I gave it a try this time. It was super fun. Bing encouraged me a lot. I attached my Go 3 to a magnet pendant and wore it around my neck. However, it was too close to the wall, making it difficult to record properly. Only a part of my left hand was visible. Since I had a protective rope in front of my chest, I tried putting the Go 3 on my left side. It didn't fall off, but it didn't work well either. I will show you three videos. One from my iPhone 13. Low side Wow. One from Huawei. And one from the Insta Go 3. In this video, I will show you how I walk my sister's two dogs. They always give me a warm welcome at first, but of course, depends on their mood. And if you have a dog, you know how busy you are going to be when you are outside of your house. 
so I highly recommend using this kind of hands-free camera. We can easily record when they are walking, when they are doing their business, and how we clean up after them. Having dogs is just like having babies, so we need to pay 100 attention whenever we are with them. So hands-free is definitely important. The Go3 is so user-friendly for us to record our moments hanging out with our dogs or other animals. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello 你养的 嗯,好,你先坐 <笑>